Hey everyone, Jamie Phillips here with you and changing the headlight bulbs. I've uh, been out for a little bit and just kept putting it off, putting it off. Thankfully, I got a my old red Tahoe that I drove for almost 15 years. I had just put some new bulbs in it uh, shortly before I got this one and had to park it. But what a pain in the patootie. You got to take the grill out, the parking lights out. And then four bolts on this assembly. Probably this spring, I'm either going to really try to clean these or I'm just going to buy new ones and make sure I got good bulbs all across for Crystal because she don't she can't see as good at night, especially if it's raining. Uh, but at least it's getting this side working because all I had was either bright or dim on that side and nothing over here because the old one, wherever I said it, uh, got to take it on water. Last time I ran through the car wash, it filled about half full of water and shot the bulbs. So um, I'm sure a lot of y'all have done this. I actually had to take a sneak peek just to make sure I was right. But uh, you got uh, a few screws across the top of your grill, one in the center. Uh, then there's clips. You can, after you take the parking lights out, you lift these up and that releases it. And then those three in the center just are just kind of like guides that hold it. So you take those out, set the grill out, and then there's four uh, bolts that holds that headlight assembly on. So I've done plugged it back into the new bulbs and started putting it back in. Uh, so once I get that bolted back in secure and straight, then I'll snap the grill back in and then put the parking lights back in. And then I'll have a happy wife because after she realized that we were going to run one headlight, she said, I ain't driving it no more. You'll get me a ticket. And so I thought well, I better get it fixed. Plus it make it a lot safer so anyway just a quick one uh like i said i'm sure a lot of y'all know how to do it if you don't uh to get in there to it right you got to take the grill off and the parking lights out and then the headlight assembly out to, to replace the bulbs uh now i do know a guy changed one once he took the battery and the horn and stuff off and got his hand in there i guess uh but this is uh, i guess the right way to do it so and again, here it is, the end of December. Man, up in our low 60s today. We've been so blessed with uh, some great weather. Uh, yeah, my garage, I can't get it all the way up in the garage, but this was enough just to get in here. And I went and got my office chair <laughs> rolling around out here working on it. Have a great day. God bless each and every one of y'all. And if I don't talk to you beforehand, I hope you have just a great, happy new year. And uh, 2021 had its ups and downs, I guess, for a lot of us, but I was blessed in so many ways. And uh, I just look for 2022 to be so much better and hope it is for you. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Uh, if there is a different way than what I'm doing it, then let me know. Uh, and subscribe, please. I would appreciate it. Also, uh, shout outs to uh, Outlaw uh, uh, Auto Salvage Outlaws. Uh, good guy there. He's always tinkering around on something. Beamer and Son Garage, they're always messing around with something. Uh, I got a buddy down not too far from me. Got a, he's a farmer. Got farming by faith. Uh, Rolling Heavy Magazine. Just a bunch of good guys. So uh, you all have a great one, and I'll catch you in the next one.